When introducing your horse to the pads, it's really a good uh, thing to let them look at the pads, smell the pads, and just make sure that they're not going to be concerned about it. As you can see, Al's not too terribly concerned about the pad at all, but some horses, even just approaching with one of these surfoot pads, can make them upset. So that's really the first thing to do. Many horses ignore it at first, but that's okay. You want to present it and let them have an opportunity to check it out. And then just drop it somewhat casually on the ground. The reason I'm casually dropping it is that I want to know before I get underneath that horse if he's going to be upset by that pad. So if I just kind of casually toss it on the ground paying attention, I'm going to notice if they startle back or jump back or at all worried. You notice I keep a really loose line. I'm not going to try and stop the horse from moving. In fact, it's really important to allow them to move away if they're concerned. Then I come over and the next thing that's really critical here is to keep your hands away from the hoof. When you're putting the horse's foot on the pad, they're not thinking about your hand or you. They're wondering what this strange thing is that you're placing their foot on. So I pick up the leg and I use my foot to position the pad underneath the hoof and then let the hoof down. So you'll notice that my hand was never near the pad and that's just really important for safety. Okay? Allow the horse to stand on the pad. If he steps right off, it's totally okay. So you can see that Al's been on pads many times before and he's not terribly disturbed by the whole process. 